This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. Do this. The code, run the code and try to press P and H keys, okay? <gasps> no way. Pig, hippo. Wait a minute. But what happened to the giraffe? Okay, that's way too fun. All right. Um, look inside the code at the if statement to see how it works. Add a block inside the if statement to change the animation to a different animal. <gasps> I'm going to bring back the giraffe. When... Okay, and challenge. When you use set animation, it keeps the new animation intent until you change it again. Can you change the code so that the sprite will automatically go back... Oh, go back to the giraffe when you're not holding one of the keys down. Okay, we can try. Let's see. I'm just checking. Do they have... Oh, we have four animations already loaded. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to shrink our instructions. And so I hit... And remember, right, our draw loop is going to run over and over forever. We create this variable sprite. We then set our sprite at 200, 200. And we set the sprite equal, or the animation for that sprite, to giraffe. But we can change that up, right? So we just made sprite. We could call this Fred, right? It's just a variable. We just need to replace all those with Fred. But then in our if statement, we said, yeah, remember this variable? Well, let's now set the animation to hippo. Let's now set the animation to pig. So if, and if is checking, it is checking something, right? It's saying if key down. So if, okay, just like a Boolean statement, if inside of here it says is key down H, is H down. If it is, it says, okay, I'm going to run, oh, I'm going to change the sprite's animation to hippo. If not, up, oh, nope, H is impressed. I'm skipping to the next line of code. Key down P. All right, so that says if is the P key down. Oh, it is? Well, then I'm going to run the code. Or, oh, that is false, then it skips down to the next thing. Is this true? Oh, it's false, then it skips down to the next thing. Okay, I need to draw the sprite. So it's either going to draw one of these, or, well, not, I guess. So, okay, let's see. R. Um, we're going to kind of go over it here and see what they're doing. Set sprite. And I guess they named it sprite, but remember, this is just a variable. It could be named whatever. Let's grab what they didn't use which is a rabbit, that makes sense, R, rabbit, okay? And let's go ahead and test. So hippo, and then R, and then pig, and then hippo, and then R. And so it detects when, and remember, the way it is detecting is this is always looping through. It's always running and running and running. It doesn't just run the code once. That's why right now, it will change it, because it's still running. It's checking every single second, constantly. Oh, is it key pressed? Is it key pressed? Is it key pressed? All right. Now, the final thing was to see if we can off automatically have it switch back. I bet what we could do to make that occur is if we grab this set animation and instead of setting it way up here at the top, put it inside the top of our draw loop. Every time it resets, because it's going to run over and over, every time it restarts, it will go back to that maybe? Let's see. Reset. Run. See how that works? The second I let go of the key, it's going to go back to the draft because it's running every second. It's running every millisecond, actually. So the second I let go of the key, zoop, it's looping through every second faster than I can even think or say it. So the second I let go of that key, it goes back. It keeps the new animation until you change it again. Yep. And so I think, yeah, we even did the challenge. Gold star for us. Great. Let's, uh... Here's what I got at least. Yeah. Let's keep going.